Hey guys, Kenneth actually here with HTML itis. It's not HTML it is. I've getting gotten a lot of people say it is, which it is sounds stupid. So it's HTML itis, which is the inflammation of the web design gland. And I believe that gland somewhere on your neck beneath your jaw. I'm not sure. Uh, but we all have one. Anyways, I started this site because I wanted to teach people web design. You know, HTML, CSS, PHP, Photoshop, Illustrator, WordPress, all that wonderful, wonderful stuff. So let's, uh, well, let me go back. Um, you know, there are many good sites out there, um, like Linda, but that pays, and there's other sites, that's good. But it's text, and I wanted to find some videos that are from the ground up, and I couldn't. So I created this. To help you learn web design. So let's get right into it and talk about HTML. HTML, if you like to think about it, as a picture frame. HTML is the holder of the content, like a picture frame is the holder of the picture. Now with HTML we just don't have pictures, we have text, links, images, and so on. So the basic HTML syntax or language has elements that have brackets. And these brackets come in pairs. You have an opening you have a closing you have to have both of these and the content goes inside you have to have an opening and a closing you're like twins you also have you know a paragraph which will close as well a heading h1 which will close uh, and so forth so let's uh let's take a look at this code. Let's delve into the code. As we can see here, this is the actual HTML code. We have the doc type, which tells the browser what type of HTML it is. We have our HTML tags, which should start every HTML page. We have the body, which holds all the visual content. We have H1, which is the header. We have a paragraph, which is a paragraph. Pretty straightforward. Let's see what it looks like in the browser. And this is Firefox. See, we have the H1 and the paragraph. But what if we want to get this H1 smaller? What do we do? That's actually really easy. Easier because I can copy and paste this sucker. And all we have to do is change the numbers. Now, let's preview that in the browser. You see H1, H2, H3, H4, and H5. You would think that the higher the number, the higher the font size, but actually it's the other way around. The lower the number, the higher the font size. Now, HTML reads from top to bottom. So let's say we want to put an HTML for a, a heading one, header one, beneath the paragraph. Let's see what that looks like. You see? It follows from top to bottom. It reads from top to bottom. Now, let's get rid of all this jazz. Back up. Get it looking nice again. Now, what if we want to add some links? That's very easy. All you do put this 
code. Mm. Let's just make it look normal. What do we have here? We have the link code, which is a different looking code. We have the link code, open quote, the the actual link, close the quote, and then we have what we want the link to look like. So let's preview that in the browser. We click on it and it takes us to Google. Now let's go back to that real quick. It says Google because this says Google. Now, what if we wanted to say Yahoo? It says Yahoo, but it's still going to link to Google because that's what our page links to. Now, what if we want? Let's change this back to Google real quick. What if we want to add a uh, and this can go anywhere. Doesn't have to go at the end. It can go right smack dab in the middle or something. Just grab this. Put it right here. See my first Google heading. Now, let's make it look a little neater and just stick that bad boy right there. Now, what if we want to add some images to our page? That's simple. With this syntax image source, and then you want to link to your image. Now, let's see if we can get a good image. I think I know what the one. What if we want to add this image to our page? All you gotta do is paste the code in there and have a closing bracket. Now this closing bracket is a little different because most of the time you won't have code in between. It's just a closing bracket at the end of everything. So let's preview this. As we can see, we have the image right in the middle of the header, the paragraph, and the link. Now let's take this link out the first so it can look a little bit better. You see? Header, paragraph, image, and then link. But what if we want to make this image clickable? That's simple. All we do is encase this image in a link tag. So let's do H R E F. And let's go to HTMLitis. program I have automatically wants to fill these guys in here. I'm using Aptana Studio, which for this you can use a simple file editor or a simple text editor. All it is is code and you can it'll just read it as such. So I saved it. Let's see what it looks like. Ah, see when I hover my mouse over it, it changes. Let's click on it and see where it takes us. See where it leads us. It takes us to htmlitis.com. This is the unfinished page. I'll finish it in a moment. So this is your basic HTML page. Um, part two will have more on HTML and different syntax elements and how to make things look a little bit more spicier. So thank you for watching.